What's going on guys, Skeet Oldridge here coming back at you with another video and today we have a very special video, the return of Draft Wars onto the channel. I am now, I guess, a permanent member and I'm not sure how often this series is going to come out, but my two co-whatever, we got, of course, Gaming Dad and we have uh, P-Ram Crow. so yeah, should be a good one if you guys are unfamiliar with the series. We did a different episode on both of their channels, which will be linked in the top line of the description. Check it out. Check out their videos. You'll get more of a hang of how this series goes. It's basically, you spin through random teams, you get that team, and whoever you get, you have to use their own draft picks, not anyone else's that they traded for. You have to get their draft picks back. So if you have the 30th pick in the first round, it's got to be the 30th pick in every single round after that. And you pretty much want to get a bad team when you spin through these. So, I guess I am spitting through. Best draft pick wins in each round. Tell me when to stop. Alright, let's go ahead and say do, 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 five, do, do, four. Do, do, do. Washington Redskins, 83 overall. We got, we got Jay Gruden as a coach, though, so that's like instant, instant points. Tell you what, man. It's one hell of a football <laughs> coach. The Baltimore Ravens. Interesting. All right, I'm spinning. Stop. That could go either way. I got the Ooh, sick team, dude. Ah, uh, my coach is Ben Mac. Not anymore. Fire him. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna create a custom <laughs> coach. Yep, you fired. And he's gonna be. A strategist <laughs> named Phil Pritchard or Richard. Wow, Bengal did pretty well. Four and twelve, I'll take it. That's gotta be like bottom five in the NFL. Yeah, what the hell? What did you do to the team? Uh, simulated. <laughs> they always do pretty poorly <clears throat> in uh, sim, so I'm pretty happy about that. Right, old Beckham's injured too. Shane Vereen got injured. Oh yeah, maybe we had injuries. Maybe Kirk Cousins was injured. He doesn't have that much XP. Hold on. I am the 28th pick. Hey, McAdoo, you wackadoo. You guys say that on Twitter? I'm no. guessing Kirk nothing. Cousins' first game of the season no. is week seven. Okay, here we go. About to get into scouting. Hopefully we can get some good play. Wait, is scouting not here? Uh, you gotta go to stage two for scouting. Man. Yeah. Go all the way to the bottom of the round. You already know that Carter, Ferenc, or whatever, he's a beast. He looks okay. Damn, the, these tutorials on are really killing me. I know how to do this. I've been here a million times. That's not even an exaggeration either. It, actually a million. I always forget to turn off. I have the fourth <laughs> overall pick. I got the 11. Wow. On a six and nine record, the eleventh pick. Oh, I guess that kind of works out. Damn, that sucks. Eleventh pick. Where are you, Dustin? Uh, I am drafting at the bottom of the first round at number twenty-eight. So I'm scouting oh. the bottom of the rounds. What? Yeah, that we sucks. went. We we went fourteen and two. <laughs> you can't even take Gordon Giordano. All right, next stage is out. Have you guys found anyone that's think... particularly good or no? I found a couple people. Yeah, I've seen a couple, but yeah, I'm yet to get to like various parts of the draft. I see a baller at Skip the Combine. He probably should have gone, to be honest. <laughs> Doesn't look all that good. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta tell you, at least Madden is consistent. It's, yeah. It might be consistently <laughs> terrible, but... Mm -hmm. But it's still consistent. I have the fourth overall pick. I don't even know who I'm going to take. All right, Let's NFL draft. Here we go. I've, I've got the Redskins and the Eagles, my next two guys. Only makes sense to be the Cowboys next, which I don't want to be. Um, I, I guess spoiler alert. Okay. All right, pick number four. Looking for a stud here. There's a good running back on the board. 
Although, I'm going to take a receiver. Devin Hogan out of Florida. Sick top three skills. Four, three, seven speed at six foot four. And it was a solid selection. He is ranked number two in the draft class. We took him at number four. 83 oh overall God. quick development. That is an absolute stud. And guys, we are going off of their rankings in the in the uh, draft class because that really determines uh, and lets us know how good they are comparatively to overall, which indicates how good they are in the drafted scheme. We're going for best overall players. Um, so number two player in the class is the one to beat right now. Who's up next? Param Crow. I am. Ah, this is not good because that was my only real win condition was that guy that you just drafted. Yeah, he looked pretty good. Sorry. He did indeed. Um, I'm going to take... Uh, I just want this guy on my squad, to be completely honest. I'm going to take Lane Lodish from Texas A&M. And he is 79 superstar, but he is 12th overall. In not a bad player. Not at all. Not my player was just unreal. Um, no. Yeah, that's beastly, dude. 83 quick. Yeah, but like, talk about yeah. even using him with uh, his height and his speed. God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. And I get screwed all the way down at the bottom of the first round. I didn't hear you down there, Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hello! Is that um, you, Green Lantern? We're going to go ahead because... Can you fly? Yeah, that's me! Uh... We're going to go ahead and take this quarterback out of LSU because I hate Joe Flacco. So I am i don't care if I even win this round. I'm just going to get rid of Joe Flacco. And Jimmy Frey can be our new quarterback. Let's find out what he is with an A throw power, B plus, B accuracy short. Let's find out. From with Joe Flacco. So he is a 78 overall, which I might add is only like one point below Flacco, but he's the 39th ranked person in true talent. So I definitely lost. Yeah, it's right. hard to beat the number two overall player because there's literally only one player on the board <laughs> that you can draft to beat it. And he's a fullback. <laughs> and he's a fullback. <laughs> All right, into the second round now. 36 overall. And I have some players that I'm interested in. Hopefully, they're still on the board. There's a nice-looking quarterback here. Bryant Bridge out of A&M. Wait, were there two A&M quarterbacks? Yep. I swear there's another one. Um, but I'm actually not going to go with him. I'm going to go Perry Cole out of Oregon. B-plus power move, B-plus tackle, B-plus block shed. What more could you want out of a 3-4 defensive end? Here he is. Ah, slow development. He is an 80 overall, though. However, oh, wow. he's only ranked 25th in the class. I mean, that's no, not bad it, for a second he, round. He's that's insane. Bad, 87 no. strength, 86 tackle, 86 block shed, 87 power move with 77 speed. He's insane. But is he insane enough? Yeah. We'll find out. Can Crow, can Dusto beat me? We'll find out. Well, he was, what, 25. 25th? Mm. I think the guy I was looking after, like looking for, got taken. This is round two, isn't it? Um, yep. Yikes. Okay, there's two people I really want to get. I mean, am I going for people I really want to get, or am I trying to win? Um, honestly, to win. I'm going to take Benji. Kramati I saw him. He looked really good. State. He's actually. Oh, a no, you're not. A minus oh. spec catch from Michigan State. He's also six foot mm -hmm. six, I'd just like to add. That was the guy I was going to take. And Crow has drafted another superstar, 76 superstar, and he is 40th in I'll take talent. It. So I still did not win. But Yeah, those two are two superstars. really good picks. Nice. Like, this has been a really good draft class for all of us so far. Yeah. It just so far, like a loaded yeah. class. Yeah, this is okay. draft so... make it Green Lantern on the board. Right. All right, so I have a choice to make. Either I'm going to take this running back out of Florida, Paul Moody, or I'm going to take this balanced DT out of Syracuse, 
Um, or no, oh, Penn State. Huh. Take a look at this. No, he's not strong enough. So we're going to go ahead and take the running back out of Florida, Paul Moody. A minus looseness, B plus carry, B juke move. And he's a speed back, even though his speed is not that good. And I did not get it. He's the 60th ranked in true talent. He's a 75 quick, though. So, I mean, that's decent development for a running back. There you not go. Not bad. All right. Not bad. Yeah, so far, two to, to zero to zero. Round number three. We're going to get right into this. And let's see my draft board. I have one player on there. That's That sucks. Um, is he good enough to draft right now? Answer is absolutely not. He's, he's not good looking. Um, geez, there's not even anyone out here that looks remotely good at all. I might have to take him because I just... Uh, do I want to be that guy and take Lyman? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm playing to win. Julian Travis out of Arkansas State. Good top three skills. Also very strong. Decent player, 74 overall, ranked number 71 in the class. So very, very beatable. Question is, will you? Ooh. Wow, I'm surprised. Why does the Giants logo look like an N riding a, um, a scooter? <laughs> Shut up. It's a beautiful logo. <clears throat> um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and take Frank Kowalkowski. Out of pen, um, you know, I just Kowalski. feel like he's the future of this franchise. Kowalkowski, he is absolutely not the future of this franchise. He <laughs> seventy-four overall, and what did you say he was, Bengal? Your seventy-one. Ooh, sixty-seven. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right, I got sixty-seven. So I didn't, uh, I didn't scout this guy, but he did stand out to me after the fact of actually doing like all my scouting and shit like that. Uh, he is a speed receiver out of Penn. Smart guy. Um, he is the second fastest, second fastest, thir uh, second and three cone and third and twenty yard shuttle. Are, are you? I'm just I wouldn't take a spring recommend on. it. <laughs> Yeah, he's you're, you're right, because he came out trash. But he's fast as all hell, though, which is what I like. So, he's, um, three, he's 307. The top three. Was, was he trash? Oh, yeah, his top three skills were bad. Uh, that sucks. All right, so it's back to you guys. All right, back to now the fourth round. Um, I just noticed that my audio was completely out of sync, so I hopefully will be able to edit it at the part of the video, but if, if it didn't work, because it would be kind of hard uh, based on how I record, it's all fixed now. Sorry about that if you're watching it, but uh, I'm trying to find out who I should take, and I'm thinking about taking Bo Wisniewski, tight end, out of Notre Dame for the pure reason that he skipped the combine and is a baller. All right, we're going to take him, Bo Wisniewski. Ugh, okay. Uh, I, I regret that me? decision. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I knew nothing about him. And, yeah, he's ranked number 297 in the class. So that was a mistake. That was, that was not good. So the score is 2 to 1 to 0. And it looks like Crow could tie things up here. The Scooters are going to draft Thomas Lockley from Houston. Uh, all right, he's 70 overall and 100 in true talent. Exactly 100. Ooh, on the nose. That's that's beatable. It's a beatable number. Very beat. So he's actually higher than what I thought he'd be because when I when I scouted him, it did not look good at all when I looked at that guy. But... There is this guy right here. I mean, it's not great, but for a fifth rounder, 
for a tight end, it doesn't really need to be great. I mean, he's first in the vert jump, second in three cone, and third in the 20 yard shuttle. He's got B spec catch, C catching, and C minus catch in traffic. But all I need to be is what, a uh, hundred, right? Yeah, on the yeah. nose. Okay, so let's let's check this out because usually vertical threats are a decent pick when it comes to to tight ends. Blocking is the best. And I smashed that. He's seventy-one overall, eighty-eight in true talent. Oh, there you go. So right, it is two to one to one. That I, man. I don't want to take a lineman, but I like. I also really want to take a lineman. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you don't want to be that guy. But I, at the same time, I really, really do. Because, like, okay, there are a number. I don't know if you guys scouted them, but there are a number of really, 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 really good linemen. I can't stress that enough. Like, so good. And, you know, I don't want to uh, not I take them. Lineman round. There, there's let's do a, a lineman round. Oh, let's do it. Because I know a couple that I'll take. Yeah, they're like, I would say, there are at least six really good looking ones. And just for the sake of the name, I'm going to take Frank Mears, the plural of former UFC fighter Frank Mir. This guy looks yeah. to be just as strong. 6'4, 3'11. I don't know what weight class that is, but it, there isn't one. So that's heavyweight and up. Good top three skills, B plus impact block, B minus run block, C plus blast, pass block, 37 reps of 225. Here he is, 77 overall, ranked number 35 oh, in the class. Wow. I, I think you just locked it up right there. I don't know. He looked like maybe the second best available, but he was very strong, so I figured I'd take the shot. There are a few really, really other good ones that I don't want to name specifically. Of course not. I mean, I'm looking <laughs> at one right now. I mean, it depends. Do you prefer top three skills, or do you prefer um, combine and strength and things well, like that? Ramon Broussard. Um, yeah, he looks pretty good too. I wasn't even talking about him though. When it comes to when it comes to linemen, generally, I don't even care about their top three. I just go off their combine because it's almost like if they have a top three in their strength at least sometimes even a top four uh they're they're guaranteed to at least be a 74 or higher well i'll say this i feel like if you're in draft wars and you're drafting purely for overall you'd probably lean towards the top three skills but if you're doing it for the long term in an actual franchise you can't upgrade strength it takes so much oh no no so you're just drafting the strongest one if you're actually doing it I'm actually no, going to take Javante yeah. Booth from mm-hmm. Cincinnati. He's slow as shit, but I can't see these linemen that Bang was talking about. But because we are going a lineman round, and I just completely spoiled who I'm going to take next round, I'm going to take Ramon Broussard. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> he is 75 quick with 61 overall in true talent. All right, so I am right. still currently in the lead on this round. Yeah. There are there right, so are some good get, ones. Yeah, so what do I gotta beat? Thirty five? Thirty I thought it was a little bit higher than that, like thirty seven. And when I say higher I also mean lower. Um <laughs> no, no, it I, it is thirty five. I, I got what you meant, yeah. It is thirty five. Yeah, I was gonna say I could have sworn you said thirty five. Um where is he? Where is he? There is one specific one and he was unconventional as all hell. Mm-hmm. Is this it? No, it's right here. Uh, okay, so I'm expecting it not to be as high as 35, but this guy is literally in the undrafted section, a run blocker out of Auburn, and he is the second strongest in the entire class of left tackles. So 76 overall. Really? 90 strength. 84 run block, 76 pass, 78 impact block, and 24 in true talent. No way. Yes. An undrafted player? It, and he was at the very bottom of the undrafted section. What? He was... That's insane. He was like he was like third in three cone and second in overall strength. 
All right, so we have it. We have it tied up now, two to two to one. Well, not Crow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not me. I gotta win two in a row. Dude, uh, but I've got faith in the scooters. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna take a lineman in this draft or in this round because I just I don't want to keep being that guy. And there actually looks to be a pretty good player here. Now, does he have what you look for in terms of athletic ability? Not even close. Did he go to the best <laughs> Texas college available? Not by a wide margin, but we're going Aaron Noble out of A&M. Decent top three skills on him. B plus spec, B catch, B minus route running. We're going with him. Uh, Inter- I wish I dropped it. Interesting. Away. He is a 70 overall. Okay. Now, he has no speed at an 86, but that's actually not terrible, I suppose. He's number 98 in the class. That's not, that's not, that's not, not bad, bad at all. Six round. No, especially for a Was wide he a receiver. Receiver? Uh, I don't know. I'll check real quick before we move on here. He was His... a route runner. Ooh, and Keanu really? Neal got yeah, taken by the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Crow this is, is where the, the clock. scooters come back. Scooters are coming back. We are going to be taking... Oh, wait, that's not the guy I wanted. Wait, was it? I don't think it was. What the hell, man? Don't take my guy. Ah, I'm going to go back to Javante Booth out of Cincinnati. Um, Longtime friend of Travis Kelsey. Uh, Travis let me know before draft was that he's a really good player, so I'm going to take his advice. And if we do lose because of this, then I'm going to blame it all on Travis, so... Fair enough. Ah, Travis. <laughs> Not good. 242nd. Ooh. Ouch. So, Ouch. Yikes. Not ideal. He does have a high mode. Not at all. So, but he does have 51 awareness, so I'll just put that out there. Well, it's not bad. All right, so what What do I got to beat now? Uh, 98. And- 98. There are some linemen that could get you there, I believe, if they're still on the I'm board. I'm not. We we did a lineman round. I don't mm-hmm. want to. Mm-hmm. I kind of don't want to cheat that way because I know in the last episode that's on Param's channel. I mean, I kind of went that way to to keep myself in it. So I want to try to stay away from it this time. But there is somebody dipping back down into the undrafted. Stop doing. Does, There's no way they're good. <laughs> that it, it, he does catch my eye. He's. He's a 3-4 tackler, middle linebacker, uh, B hit power, B minus pursuit, C plus tackle. His combine grade is a 7.3. He's the uh, third fastest, first in the broad jump, and first in bench press. So I have my fingers crossed right now. I'm going to take uh, Antares Boyce out of he, Boise State. And he's a middle linebacker? He's a middle linebacker. I don't even have him on my board. And... You definitely won that round. He is 71 <laughs> overall, but he came in 154th in true talent. That's not bad, to be fair. All right, so three. Is fu- <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> I'm so scared to talk all of a sudden. <laughs> did, my, uh, did, my, did my stuff cut out? Is that what happened? No, it was just, it was just a weird situation. <laughs> Everyone just cut each other off, and then everyone was scared to talk after that for whatever reason. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm looking now. It's pretty much at this point. I mean, I'm not taking an offensive lineman. I know it would get it would secure me the win, perhaps. Um, Probably. I mean, this is pretty. I mean, I, I wish I knew more about really any of these players down here. I feel like it's so important to scout near the bottom more than anything. So it's pretty much either an offensive lineman, which I'm not going to do. I could take a safety, which I know a little bit about. He doesn't look good, though. Or I could reach and just take a random player who looks like they could be good. I think I might do that. I might be leaning towards that. I'm going to take... And prototype cornerback. <laughs> oh, yeah? I'm out on C-man <laughs> coverage being the highest stat. I'm going to take – time is is running down here. I'm going to secure it up with 
a kicker with a 3.0 combine grade. Hanson Stanley, 71 overall, ranked 148 in the class. 148, okay. Beatable, of course. I don't know why I went with a kicker. I was planning on taking a safety and then panicked because I saw two seconds. <laughs> Here's Crow, yeah. though. Okay, so what, what's going on here? What is going on here? Time is running down. That's what's going on. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take Colin Kaepernick's brother, Ryan Kaepernick. From I almost Texas. took him. <laughs> yeah. Almost did. He's going to be my bailout. Um, I also have Sam Snyder. Uh, absolutely no idea why he's on my draft board, but he's just the only <laughs> guy there. Um, a lot of Texas players. Everybody I've looked at is from Texas. He goes to Texas A&M. Disgusting. I would definitely not recommend drafting somebody like this based off his top three skills. But third strongest, fourth fastest. Uh, he can jump pretty high, even though that's kind of irrelevant. Yo, there's a safety and down here in the undrafted with a 7.7 .7 combine grade. 163 in true talent. Oh, you were close. Wait, did you beat me? No. Yes? I don't know. What did I, you get? I, I forgot. I thought you said yours is like a 140. My memory is, is not back. not ideal. Uh, 148. Go. There you go. Ooh. All right. Not quite crow. So I currently <laughs> have the lead. I, I don't know. I did, I did say there's a 7.7 .7 combine grade safety. I mean, he might have gone off the board. No, yeah, he's still there. He is, no, he's still there. And he is a zone, so it's not a playmaker. Yeah, it's hell? not a prototype. So you know what? I don't even care if this loses me it. I'm actually too curious to actually not take this guy because... He's fourth fastest, first in vert, second in broad, fourth in three cone, fifth in 20 yard shuttle, and first in bench press. I'm taking this guy. I don't care. Yeah, he looks Tavante pretty good. Monte Gardner out of Texas A&M. Welcome to the squad. Wow. Gardner. Wow. 72 overall, 74th in true talent. I wish I would have kept my big mouth shut. <laughs> so that's a tie then. That's a tie. <sighs> well, trade for the Mr. Irrelevant picks and sort it out unless you want to declare it a tie. Can you guys handle a tie? Or would you rather get the charges and Philly picks? Nah, we can't end on a tie. No draws here. Yeah, Good winner. Okay, so pause the Bengals pause the pause it and Bengal, do you want uh do you want the Chargers pick and I'll take uh, Philly's pick? I'll take Philadelphia. I want the last okay, pick. I'll take, okay, I'll take Chargers. I'm sorry, Scooter fans. I've let you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and give you... I'm giving a 2019-1. That's how important this irrelevant pick <laughs> is to me. Uh, God, I screw this one up. All right. All right, I'm ready to go. All right. I like being in the position where I have to, uh, I know what I have to beat. Even though I don't know how to beat it, because I have none of these guys scouted. And somebody just, Dustin just left the call. Oh, yeah? I was, it was, you got real quiet. I think he got scared. <laughs> I think he cracked <laughs> out. He's like, I don't want any part of this. Oh, it must be 3 a.m. there. His net always cuts out. That's unfortunate. Should we pause it, probably? There he is. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Have you been taken over by a robot? What was that? Are you good? Uh, I have no, I have no, no idea. My internet just completely freaking dropped. It was me. I, I, I called the internet company. Give me a second. Give me a second. Downstairs. 
All right, you sound like a, a floppy disk drive. Does anyone even know what that is that's watching the video? Probably not. You sound like one of those like 1970 IBM computers that took up a whole room. What are you doing right now? I am turning my internet back on. Oh, there we go. There, there's the Green Lantern. <laughs> what are those things that you tap to send messages? Church. Oh, oh, beepers. Or pagers? No, no, it's like those things that you said, like. Doo -doo 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 oh, I can't remember the oh, name. Oh, oh, uh, telegraph. Yes. There you go. Dustin's gonna have to send you his audio files via one of those. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think it would work too well. <laughs> Does anyone here know Morse code? We could do that. Downstairs now. You can send you a 1080 MP1 file. <laughs> <laughs> MP1. Oh, that would be great. All right, we're back after that. Uh, I'm not even sure. It's been a very interesting return to Draft Wars on this channel in particular. You have 23 seconds to decide who you want. Oh, I already know who I'm going to take. And to everybody listening out there, kids, if you have kids any time in your life, lock up your stuff because they will screw everything up. I'm going to take Trip Summers out of Pittsburgh. He is a power kicker right now. A kicker. Was there any yeah. context on that story? or <laughs> How is that the prelude to you taking a kicker? Because that's the whole reason why this whole thing got screwed up is mm. because my kids went over and deliberately pressed the button to turn off my internet, which is why <laughs> this this whole thing. Now, I, d I will say... Will you say who you got? It, Thank you. I said Trip oh. Summers. He's 70 overall. He's 182nd, which is be is very beatable. But I like this guy because he's 96 kick power and 87 kick accuracy. I'm taking uh, I'm taking a safety. Question is, do I want one out of Cal or Louisiana Monroe? I'm gonna go Stanley Ooh, Rogers, A.K.A. Mr. Rogers, out of UL Monroe. <laughs> okay. 448 speed, decent combine. That's all I know about him. And I've taken him, and the draft is over, and I don't. I didn't see where he ranked. He was a 67, uh, though, which is not great. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't think that one through. So, what was his overall? In my particular scheme, it's a 67. So not great. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, his talent. I don't know. It ended the draft right there. I couldn't see. Ah, shit. Well, let me just see. Let me play him in his ideal scheme fit. <laughs> And if his overall goes up to anything, then we'll know. There if it doesn't... An, it was an 81 overall. You know Ryan Kaepernick, Bengal? He yeah. was actually an 81 quick. What position did he play? Running back from Texas. Running back. The one that you were thinking about taking? Remember I said Colin yeah. Kaepernick's brother, I Ryan I saw him Kaepernick. too. Yeah, he was actually a beast. Like, he, didn't, he didn't look that good. Yeah, he looked pretty uh, How did you find out that he was such a high overall? Just go to the draft recap. Can you sort by highest overall? Mm, yeah, you actually can, yeah. For the entire yeah. draft? No, just by... No, it's hmm. just by team. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah, Stanley Rogers is overall went up to a 68. So I'm going to go ahead and say that you probably took the win on that, taking a kicker. Damn. I wonder yeah. if I got the highest overall player in the draft, though, at 83. I, I would probably did, say so actually. for the looks of it. I, I think he did. Uh, I want no, to see the oh, highest. Wait. Who are the Redskins? That's yeah, that is you. He's actually that's, an eighty-four. Yeah, yeah, he's a beast. He's probably an eighty-four yeah, for you. I think he's an eighty-three for me. Yeah, because the highest one that I got was my my quarterback, which was a seventy-eight. Yeah, he's only an eighty-three for well, only, but he's only an eighty-three for me. I would have to change the scheme fit to a uh, red zone threat for wide receiver one, I guess. Mm. I mean, that's what it appears to be. 82 overall fullback in the sixth round for the Bills. That's not bad. Yeah, fullbacks are, I mean, like, whatever. All right, guys, I guess that's going to do it. Make sure to check out their channels linked in the top line of the description. I guess, well, one of them will be second. 
Whoever that is, I like more, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Down, down, down.